But we are changing that chapter by creating an ecosystem where we celebrate one another. And there is no place where that becomes the best, like in the family. So I you take your lesson in your family. You may not be the richest people in Kitengela, but by holding your family together through thick and thin, and standing together and praying together, and sharing the moments, both the good and the ugly, and everything in between, you are an example. And therein lies your greatness. You will never be the tail but the head. The Bible says that those who know their God shall be strong and shall do exploits. I was reading the book of Psalms, 126, I believe, and it talks about restoration. And David says, when the Lord restored the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then our hearts were filled with the joy and our mouth with the laughter. And then the Bible says that they confessed that those who are laughing at you, those who mocked you, those who laughed at you when you were down, they gave a testimony. And I pray that Kitengela will give a testimony one day about Anderson and your family. It says they spoke and talked about their God, the God who restores, the God of a second chance. I am a product of a second chance. I have failed in life many times. I think the only defining denominator and quality in my life is that God picks me up every time I fail. Even in my career, every time I'm sacked, I'm sacked so publicly that the entire world, the last time when I was leading KFC, after such a stunning performance, leading a corporation from nothing, from an annual budget of 8 million to 650 million with assets and everything amounting to 2.14 billion. There was no party when I was leaving. They didn't know that there's a God of a second chance. Amen. I recommend that God to you because it's not once or twice. Change begins with you. You alone. And I want to challenge you as I conclude. Please determine to be a good person. Just determine. Just vow that I'll be a good person. I will not hate, I know you'll be tempted to. I will not despise others, I know you'll be tempted to. But let me tell you the true Christianity is in the book of Matthew 25. It says when we shall appear before God in judgment, he will separate us into two groups. I don't know whether it's a true story, whether it's a movie, but it's in the scripture. And some will be goats and others will be sheep. And he will say to the sheep, I, let me forget about the goat, and I don't mean that the goats are this side. <laughs> but let me talk about the sheep because they will be on the right side. The Bible says that he will say to the sheep, enter ye into my father's kingdom. Because I was hungry and you gave me to eat. I was in the hospital and you came to see me. I was I was in prison and you came to see me. I was sick and you came. You know, it is about how we went out of our way. That's the reason I came all the way to Ketengela today. Because I want to be on the side that in the day of judgment, my history and my accolade will not be the cars I drive, will not be the house I live in, but how many people I touched while I lived. Because that is also the second the you remember the biggest commandment Jesus said, love God with all your heart and all your mind and all, with your, and all your spirit and all your strength. But the second commandment, which is equally great, is love your neighbor as you love yourself. So I encourage us, out of this event, if you learn nothing else, two things. One, love your neighbor. Benda Mwenzako. Ambea Mwenzako, kama na umuambia kwani, preach with me. Usiwe member wa kamati ya rochafa. 